Welcome, 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 wherever you are in the world. Welcome back to Note School TV. We are once again, as always, we are live here on Wednesday. We will plan on being live every Wednesday at 11 a.m. Central Time. And so I want to first just simply say thanks for coming in today. Uh, secondly, I'd like to go ahead and just encourage you, if this is quality content that we're trying to bring to you every single week, I really would love to ask you to simply like our YouTube channel, subscribe to the channel, and probably most importantly, because this is a live show, I want you to click the bell notification to actually get the notification so that you know when we're coming live, you'll get the notification, you'll be able to jump in and, and get the content. And that's important because this is a little bit of an interactive show. We have the opportunity to where if you have questions, man, comment, say hi. Uh, and if you've got some questions about what you're talking about, we can pop it up on the screen and be talking about it uh, as we go through the show. So it's a really great opportunity to get some engagement and that kind of stuff. For those of you who are brand new to, to Note School, the Note School world, I'd love to encourage you uh, to, to learn more at noteschool.com slash TV. And uh, you can discover a little bit more about the Note business there. Uh, and we'll talk about that. But today we got to get into the show. We have a very full house today. Uh, I've got lots of friends with me. Uh, the first guy I want to introduce is Joe Varnador, 30-year veteran in the Note business. And we've got a special treat because it's not just Joe. Uh, uh, Joe has brought some other friends. We've got the one and the only Eddie Speed himself, and we also have Bob Repass, who we're going to introduce. And so, uh, Joe, if you want to come up here on the screen, I'd love for you to just take it away. Tell us about who we got today and really what are we talking about today, Joe? Very good. Thanks so much, Brian. Uh, so today we are going to be talking about um, our annual event, which is Note Expo. And we're going to go through, you know, all the different reasons that, you know, what we're going to do at Node Expo, what you can expect, why you should be there, who should be there, and all of those things, we're going to answer all your questions about Node Expo. So, Eddie, Bob, why don't we all kind of jump on here and uh, let's just jump right into it, right? Hey, Eddie. Hey, Bob. <laughs> hey, Joe. How are you? Brian? Good to see you, Joe. You too, guys. So, you know, um, we probably should keep Brian on here with us because he's like a little younger version of the three of us, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I was thinking, Joe, when, when Brian said, here's Joe with 30 years experience, and then I started adding mine and Eddie's. Let's just say we have over 100 years on screen yeah. here. <laughs> yeah. Which is, which is really, really great because what the event that we've got coming up, it's going to take uh, this kind of seasoning, this kind of experience to bring uh, some value to really the industry. And so why don't we just go ahead and, and jump in. And Bob, why don't you kind of start by telling us a little bit about what Note Expo is, what people can expect, and, and really why they should be joining us. Sounds good, Brian. So this would be our seventh annual Note Expo. And Eddie and I got together about seven years ago and you know, we were talking about various events in the industry and we were like, we really need a marquee event that will be the event of the year for the note industry. And we've been working hard over the last seven years, getting better and better each year with Note Expo. And for the past six years, the first weekend in November has been Note Expo live on stage. And we've all been there with industry experts, tons of vendors and networking opportunities. This year, we're going to have the exact same thing, except we're going to be virtual due to the 2020 pandemic that we've all been facing. So um, Eddie and I have been working hard to put a quality schedule of uh, speakers and lineup, and we've got some great content provided. We also are going to use some of this technology to have some interactiveness and some networking opportunities like a virtual happy hour. So we're excited about that, too. And we've got virtual exhibit booths for our sponsors and vendors where the audience will be able to go in and and watch little videos and chat with them and, and download all their materials. So we're excited about the way that we've been able to leverage technology. And um, Eddie, why don't we uh, kind of talk a little bit about the background of Node Expo and, and why we thought the industry really needed a meeting place, at least once a year, where the industry leaders, whether they're new to the business, seasoned veterans like we are, but why we wanted to create a, an atmosphere for everybody to congregate once a year in November. Well, I think that's a great point, Bob. Uh, uh, you know, you one, know, one of the things thing that I realized I is that uh, along the way and in that process, our industry needed to bring old dogs together like 
Bob and Joe and I, right? Who I met at an industry note trade show 25 or 30 years ago. That's how we met. Yep. And now all of a sudden we've all, we've all been working together for years, but how that all kind of initially came together was exactly because of the fact that there was a networking opportunity to really get to know people and get to know what that was like. And I just felt like that there was a gap in the business to do that. And secondly, uh, I felt like with our experience, we could have an influence with a lot of what I think were the most critical speakers. Um, and, and so there's no one focus of Node Expo. We'll talk about how a real estate investor can utilize creative financing. We're going to talk about how you can buy defaulted loans. We're going to talk about how you can buy first liens and second liens. We're going to talk about how you can work with passive investors. In other words, all of the things that I really believe are, are cogs in our wheel, we're bringing together uh, people uh, to, to really talk about their expertise and talk about their experiences. So uh, I think Bob and I have always taken a lot of pride in, in Note Expo as far as the quality of the speakers and the range of the speakers, level of experience and kind of their view of things. And uh, we, we, we just feel the diversity is just something the industry really needed. So, um, you know, that was a, this is a lot of work. I mean, Bob and his team, uh, they, they, they're really cool. They make me look good. <laughs> but the truth of the matter is behind the scenes, they work at this excessively for a long period of time. So, um, you know, it's, it's very enjoyable. It's a homecoming for all of us. Yeah. Um, and Joe and Bob and I, who have been in the industry, obviously for years, uh, it's so fun to do it. And even this year with the virtual, I mean, we're, we hired a special vendor that's going to be able to do it in a way that's making it as engaging as it possibly can be. And uh, I think you're going to be uh, very uh, excited about the way it's set up and how it's going to be able to be conveyed in a way that you're going to feel like you're, you have the opportunity to network and engage with vendors and, and other participants and stuff in just a way that uh, it's going to be very effective in doing it, in doing it virtually. So uh, okay. Go ahead, Jeff. Let's, let's, Bob, you, I'll, we'll talk about who's going to be there in just a minute. But, Eddie, let's let's break this down a little more. You had said that, you know, we're going to talk about buying on buying on terms. And and for for our audience that, you know, is new to notes here, you know, so what does that really mean? We're talking about buying on terms. Well, buying on terms, Joe, is where you would buy a piece of property, yet get the seller to offer some seller financing to you. Now, it doesn't mean that they have to seller finance the entire price of the property. Maybe you use some private money. Maybe you take over an existing mortgage. And we're, I think we're really going to draw it down to a point of the real estate investing strategy that I think most real estate investors are leaving behind, yeah. which is, you know, the opportunity to really... Uh, pay more for the property. And that doesn't sound like a good deal, right? I'm going to pay more for it. Well, let's talk about how you're paying more for it. You're paying a higher price for the property, but you're also negotiating when you're paying it for, for that property, right? You're paying for a property on today's price, but with tomorrow's dollars. That's right. And so there's a lot of opportunity in that. And that's obviously, obviously something that I have grown to have a real passion for. Um, but we're going to have a, a wide variety of people. I was looking at our our speaker layout and just all the crazy level of experience and vendors that do different things. I know, Joe, you're interviewing a lot of people for Node Expo that are yes, um, yes. That, that really just really allow you to scale your business. Right. Absolutely. People say, how did, how did Bob and Eddie run a shop and have thousands of assets under management and do it all in South Lake, Texas. Yet we have less assets in Texas, Bob, than we do in the state of Ohio. How do we do that? Well, well. yeah, Andy, I think that was a, that was an excellent point. I wanted to piggyback on the uh, comment you made a minute ago about the diversification that we're going to have in our lineup this year. Um, about two years ago, we, we made a little tweak in our agenda where we added what we refer to as note talks, which is a take on the TED talk. And we would have folks from all across the industry come on and, and take 10 to 12 minutes and tell their stories, motivational, inspirational, and educational. I mean, they, they covered all the topics and they would really get the, uh, the audience fired up. This year, we've tweaked that a little bit, as you kind of alluded to. The four of us, Brian, Joe, Eddie, and myself, are interviewing one-on-one -on -one 
conversations with industry leaders for, for about 20 to 30 minutes. So we've got about 15 of those that we are going to do. So we've got folks from all parts, folks that have their own capital funds, um, our accounting firm, some uh, vendor services companies, people that are in different spaces, like uh, we talked about non-performing seconds, we talked about re-performing loans. So we've got a wide variety of folks that we are gonna sit down and talk to. We're gonna have conversations about regulations and regulatory relief. So we are gonna cover the whole gamut through these interviews. So I, these one-on-one -on -one fireside chat type things are just gonna be engaging where we sit down and just tell our story and, and we're really looking forward to that. Eddie, yeah, we also yeah. have some main stage general presentations. And uh, one of your good friends, Matt Andrews, is, is going to join us. And um, one thing we've always tried to do over the last uh, six years at Node Expo is also bring in the uh, entrepreneurial mindset and, and how we can always get the Node investors, the real estate investors, to think beyond just the day-to-day -day grind and how they could be motivated. So why don't you give us a little background on why you invited Matt to, to be one of our keynote speakers this year. Matt is Matt a friend, is a friend of, mine. of mine. He and he I is. were in a mastermind together for years and years and have been in other masterminds together. And I so respect Matt because, first of all, he just it's just his outlook on life. And just, just the spirit of Matt, and I've gotten to, he and I have actually had some uh, uh, products that we developed together, some training products and stuff. And uh, just I just really enjoy him. And, and so I was recently with Matt and we were talking about just kind of, I, I, got a, I got a chance to kind of hear his heart. I know his heart, but I got to hear it again about, uh, you know, just really the camaraderie and working with other people in the business and what that really means. And to the point where I called him after after uh, we left and I said, Matt, I was really resonating on um, on really what you were talking about as far as not looking at each other as competition, but looking at each other as opportunity, because my whole life has been around networking with other people in the business. Bob and I were uh, Bob and I sat across the desk from each other for years and years, meaning he was an institutional investor and I was selling loans to him. Bob ran the biggest investment shops in the country that bought these notes. And so I was selling loans to him and Joe was my competition for years, <laughs> right? Joe was, yep. Joe was, uh, I was trading notes and he was trading notes, but yet we were buddies and we yep. figured out ways to do things together. So I, uh, Matt's going to have a, just, I think a killer presentation that is really going to talk about the mindset and what that means. And I just think it was a good reminder for all of us and thought it would be something that our, our audience will really, really get a thrill out of. So you guys are going to enjoy my friend, Matt Andrews. Yeah. And, you know, he's a, he's a sharp young man. And then, you know, I see another picture there on the screen that we've, uh, that's been in the business a long time and that's Melissa. Uh, you know, she's one of the, uh, one of the, one, runs one of the biggest servicing shops, right? So not only are we going to have the insight, but the how-to, right? How do you scale this business? You know, what does Bob do on a daily basis to manage, you know, a couple thousand notes, right? So that's really the depth of that is, is not just, you know, we want to get your mindset in the game, right? And then, you know, understand the, the, the semantics of how it works. But then how do you make this something that it, you're not just buying another job, right? Yeah, yeah absolutely. And, you know, I think pointing out some of these speakers and, and the vendors and uh, sponsors that are going to be there that you can get plugged into to help you scale that business, to get you the boots on the ground so you don't have to be the one, like you said, Joe, having a job all the time, you're able to outsource that, whether it's an accounting piece, whether it's asset management, whether it's default management, whether it's due diligence. Um, we've got folks that have been in this business a short period of time, and we've got folks that have been in this business as long as we have. So, um, and as Eddie mentioned earlier, um, you know, we've all known each other from various events in the past, and then we've either uh, work together as counterparties or sometimes as friendly competition. Um, but you mentioned Melissa from Allied. Well, I used to work with Melissa back in the 90s when we were all at Metropolitan Mortgage, yep. along with Fred and Tracy Rui, who will also be there. So we were all co-workers at one point in time. So this industry is 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 a small 
uh, network in some regards. Uh, but we're, our efforts at Node Expo is to give people access to that network and to expand that network. Um, so I'm super excited. And Eddie, we've got a, some great um, sponsors this year again. And, and, you know, I just a real quick shout out to, to some of them. And I may not get all of them, but um, Eddie mentioned how hard our team works behind the scenes to, to get things going. Um, and even doing it virtually, it takes the whole industry coming together. And we really appreciate the support of some of these sponsors and vendors we have. Obviously, Note School and Notes Director are the host sponsors again this year, um, but the Mile Marker Club, FCI Lender Services, Allied Servicing, and SN Servicing, they, they have been huge. Quest Trust Company is back on board with us again this year. Uh, First National Acceptance Corporation, uh, Jeff Spiegel and Spiegel Accounting Seat. They, they have been huge for us year in and year out. We do appreciate that. Uh, we've got uh, Paperstack back again this year, along with Faller Financial um, and Revolve Capital. So we've got a great lineup. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, each one of these will have um, virtual exhibit booths where you'll be able to go in and chat live with the uh, members of their team, ask questions, get information from them, set up appointments so you're able to visit with them and see how their services may be able to help you um, in the future. Uh, one of the presentations, Eddie, that I'm excited about is our friend Jeff Watson is going to come on uh, main stage and he's going to talk about, um, he, he's really a whiz at how to invest with your self-directed IRA. So that's going to be a little bit of a, a of a twist there. And I think Jeff will, he always has a uh, audience in his hands when he's up on stage. <laughs> yeah, that's he's, a, he's, he's a very, very seasoned, seasoned investor, investor by anybody's imagine or uh, measure. And uh, that'll be a, that'll be a great presentation. You know, I was looking uh, and just sort of preparing for our meeting today. I was just looking back through our list of speakers and just like uh, we've scrolled here on the screen and, uh, you know, if experience matters, if like do, being out there and doing this bill business and being relevant to the to the components of the business, I don't think uh, I don't think we could have done a better job of, of picking an, a, a group of speakers. And I love this new format that we have, uh, this sort of interview style format. So as as the guys, the four guys here that will be doing a lot of the interviewing, um, we'll try to draw out and, and think of special questions and circumstances that I think will help uh, you as the attendee uh, get their best expertise and what that's going to look like. So that's really going to be fun. And, you know, Eddie, one of the things that, you know, that we talk about, you know, the four of us when we're when we're talking and, and trying to understand who our audience is. Right. So you mentioned this before. Right. There's folks that are brand new in the business, right? The newbies, and there's the, you know, the old dogs kind of, kind of, kind of speaking. So three of the things that, that a lot of people have when they are looking to start out in the note business is, is like, okay, inventory, capital, and scaling the business. And those are three of the things that we're going to be focusing on as well at this, at Node Expo, the two days that we're, we're going to be inside of Node Expo, right? Well, I think, I think, you know, scaling the business and really being able to do it uh, virtually is, is the magic of the note business. Right. You know, I mean, the one single thing I would say is that we, I think, live this in our, in our fund every day. And the fact that we own a lot more assets that are farther than 800 miles away from us that are closer than 800 miles to us. Right. <laughs> And 800 miles a long way, yeah. but, but I mean, we, do, we do this every day and we're, I think the, the vendors and how the business really works, I think will be enlightening for a newer person coming to the business. Like, can you really do this remote? Can, can, can Bob and Eddie sit there in an office in South Lake, Texas and yet own assets in what Bob 36 States. It, it is the business that you can do pretty much from anywhere. Um, and, and just to give our audience, you know, just a little idea, um, Eddie, I, I wanted to kind of tie this in before we wrap up here is one thing that year in and year out, folks always come back and say that they, they really enjoyed hearing uh, were some of the personal stories 
and I know we're going to get into some of the personal stuff during our, our interviews, but once again this year, um, Eddie, your wife Martha is going to come on, and she's going to do a presentation uh, to kick off day two, and um, she's going to go through and tell you know her story and her legacy and the family and stuff, and um, you know I just I think that really resonates with the audience. Yeah. I mean there'll be some good education and, and things that we we dive deep into, um, but sometimes these stories about when you see somebody on stage that hey that could be me, you know I can do that too. And um, I just think sharing those stories, and um, I don't know if you can give us just a little bit of a tease on what Martha's going to cover, but I, I know the audience always loves to hear from her. So what Martha's going to do is, is really relate to how to speak to private money. Because when Martha buys a deal in one of our retirement accounts, and she sells a partial, she buys the whole note, sells, sells front-end cash flow which recapitalizes our, our retirement account, right? So when she does that, she, she does that exclusively with passive investors, pretty much burnout landlords, right? That's pretty much the audience. And so she's going to like show the audience exactly how you would speak to the passive investor, what they want, what it, why it matters to them. And uh, I will tell you that every time somebody becomes exposed to the note opportunities, inevitably they all say the same thing almost every time. Where do I find this long-term, low-cost yes. capital, right? Anybody can, go, you can go to the real estate investment club and go find expensive money, right, Joe? Anybody That's can do exactly that. right. But the real money, the real deal is to find inexpensive money. And so Martha is going to like, Right. She has really worked at this presentation to like show the audience exactly how she presents to inexpensive private capital. What do they want? What's important to them? And so uh, I'm excited about it, as you can tell, uh, because that's something that I see her living and doing the side of the business every day. She doesn't work in operationally in the business that Bob and I do every day or that Joe and Brian are involved in. She works more in just her own little business over there, just investing with you know, retirement at various retirement accounts because we're that of that age. But people forget you can be, you know, I've done 20,000 partials <laughs> before I ever did it in a retirement account. Right. So you can certainly do it in your company or business. So uh, there's going to be a number of speakers that are going to talk about what money wants, right? What does private capital, uninvested funds, what are they looking for today? Yeah. And Bob, you were one of our guys that has just always got great statistics. And I know that uh, you monitor like how much cash America is sitting on. And you might talk about that for a minute, because that's clearly going to be why we're trying to message the audience. Well, let's just say it's a ton. Okay. It, it all starts with a T and that means it's trillions of dollars. People have exited the uh, stock market um, and they're sitting on the cash and they're waiting to, uh, to see what opportunities come up, especially as we wrap up Q4 and then we enter into uh, 2021. So um, private passive investors are sitting on a ton of cash. And, um, you know, one of their main goals is, number one, preserving that capital and then their risk factor and, and how they can earn, you know, a yield, which, as we've talked about in the past, Eddie, now, it, I mean, the cost of capital is not what it used to be, say, two, three, five years ago. Yeah. Um, as a matter of fact, one of our um, main speakers, Ryan Parson, um, he, he deals, he raises capital for our capital fund, um, and he deals with accredited passive investors. And he's one of our large sponsors this year, his Mile Marker Club. And they're going to have a um, VIP happy hour for accredited investors at the end of the day on Friday. So if you're accredited in investors, if you'll click that when you register and fill out your profile, you'll be invited to a private reception with Ryan and his team. And um, Eddie, we've known Ryan for years. He uh, started with you back probably 10 plus years ago yeah. and has you know, developed himself into a fund manager and, and a, a wealth of knowledge for the uh, high net worth individuals. Yeah. So, Ryan, I, go ahead, Eddie. Well, I was just going to say one thing about Ryan, and I think the perspective that I think he brings to the audience that's so cool 
that Ryan um, really, uh, you know, he was a fix and flip guy. He was a full-time uh, financial planner, kind of in the, the wealth management space. And then he came and got involved in notes with us at note school and, and just really have ta has taken it to a different level. His, I think his average net worth of his high end member of mile marker club, the average net worth uh, is over like 7 million bucks. So he definitely deals with people that with a lot of money and are trying to figure out how they're going to do the business the most effective way. So I think there's the, his perspective and kind of understanding what private capital wants, like what makes them comfortable. Yeah. Right. And by the way, hint, hint, it's not yield. Right, Bob? It's not yield. No, it's not. It's not. That's a great point. Uh, <clears throat> so I just want, before we wrap up here, and I know Brian's going to wrap us up, yeah. Node Expo is November 6th and 7th, right? It's at nodeexpo.com. It starts at 9 a.m. Central Time. And we run to about 5, 36 o'clock each night. So uh, if you guys would go to nodeexpo.com and register, that would be awesome. And uh, you can use the uh, promo code virtual and get a little uh, discount on that registration. So we appreciate that. And um, Joe, thank you for uh, having me on Note School TV this week. Yeah. And just and just one thing here as, as we do, um, we're going to flip it over to you, Brian, or Brian, here in just a second. But so we're not only going to talk about how do we end up 2020, but Eddie, you're going to bring kind of the vision in as to what your, you know, what your, uh, your, not a crystal ball, but what your vision is of what's going to happen for, for 2021 as we start getting into that, right? I'm going to, I'm going to talk a lot about market conditions in a state of the industry. And I think we're going to tie it together to, for, to show people a clear business model that how they can apply the business slightly different, maybe than they've done it in the past. Very good. That's great. So let me kind of wrap this up by saying this. It's obviously going to be an incredible event, amazing speakers, but let me say this. Who is this event for? I want you to understand if you're brand new to the investing space, you're brand new to the note space. Uh, maybe you're a seasoned investor. What I want you to know is this. This event is for everybody, whether you're active or you're passive or you've got an existing business and you're working on scaling or you're looking to raise capital, whatever it is, this event has something for you. And this is a very unique way to do an event. It's it's probably nothing you've ever seen before. This is not your standard go-to webinar or Zoom type of event. This is absolutely going to be incredible. So I appreciate everybody for uh, kind of joining me today. And I will say this, there are two options. Before I tell you these two options, again, I want to remind you to go ahead and, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, turn on the notifications so you can participate in these live um, events every single week, every single Wednesday at 11 a.m. And again, there are two options. You can go to a note school uh, dot com slash TV to learn a little bit more about what is note school. How do I get involved? How do I learn this stuff? How do I start uh, taking action on some of these strategies, putting money in my pocket and really building my wealth. And then the other option, as Bob says, is go to noteexpo.com and register for this event. It's going to be an absolutely incredible event. Um, that I think you're really, really going to like. It's 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 just going to be fantastic. So thank you once again for joining us here live on Note School TV. I really appreciate you joining us today. I plan on seeing you next week as well. And so have a great week and we'll catch you up next week. Bye.